Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about fish bait and how to make it a little more fun. And uh, maybe just a little quick tour of my now four star island. So I've been playing now for since launch date. Um, so I've got pretty much all the upgrades and I, I don't time travel. And so there's everything that you see are objects you can get right now and up to now. So this, oh, uh, there's a, an agrius butterfly, but I'm just gonna let that go. Okay, so this is my fish bait station. And what I did was I put all the things that I would need in order to um, make fish bait. And the reason why this is so beautiful is that um, you have all the things you need in order to grab fish bait very quick or to make and create fish bait very quickly. I know that a lot of people can't stand the fact that um, Manila clams can only be dug up one at a time and they don't stack and so and then but yet the fish bait stacks So it's kind of weird but This makes it a lot easier So if I never if I need fish bait all I do is I have it here and I can stack them in piles of ten And then I don't have to carry them around and I only um, And I only bait fish over here by the pier and because I did this, I, I've noticed that I have caught way more blue marlins and tunas because I've been doing this. Whereas before I was just too lazy to do it because I never had enough fish bait crafted. This makes it a ton easier. So I put my DIY bench here. Um, I customize it to this ash color. You can customize your DIY benches, by the way, and you can get this nice color. Um, and then I put a custom um, pattern on this stall and and I added uh, this cool little tool set that's a DIY everything is DIY and this is customized as well to the green I like the green uh, one best and uh, I just added a shovel a, uh, a net and also a extra fishing pole should I need it and this red snapper is a model that I got from CJ uh, because I really like the red snapper. I love the way it looks. I think it's such a pretty fish. Uh, and I have tree branches here in case I need to construct or construct or, or just make more, craft more um, fishing poles should I want to. I could even leave a pile of iron here if I wanted to, I guess. And to make it look more decorative, I put a cow some shells here. And I left the shell there just to make it look more decorative and not so. I even have polarized fishing glasses should I need it. <laughs> but um, I, I might take that away. It might, it's, it's getting to the point where it might look a little cluttered. Well, there's Nate. What does he want? Hi, I heard some folks have been calling you Muffin. Yes, I really dig the way that sounds. Would it be cool if I called you Muffin too? Go for it. Thank you. And I feel like we're cool kids, Muffin. You are welcome. Now everyone calls me Muffin, and I like the I like Muffin because I have I have a bit of a muffin top, and I'm totally cool with it. So whatever, I'm fine with Muffin. They could have they they had a different one for me before, but I changed it. I, they called me Backbeat, Backbeat or something like that. I didn't like it, so when they changed to Muffin, I was very happy. So every once in a while, they will they will try to change your your call name and of course the ubiquitous sea bass which is totally fine by me see I know that people don't like sea bass like after a while yeah it does get tiresome to see the same fish over and over again especially because you see a size 6 fish and you're hoping that it's some something amazing but the thing is you have to also think of the time you play so if you're not catching anything at all and it takes you like I don't know, three hours of, whoops, three hours of play before you catch a fish, you're not making any money during that entire time. So at least with the sea bass, they happen so often that you're always making money. So you, more rather than thinking about it as, oh, I only want big time fish, think of it as how much you're making per hour. So catch everything. That way you make more per hour. You get more bang for your buck as you play. And don't hesitate, I mean, don't, I know that horse mackerel, not a big deal fish, but 
size that size of a fish can also be a barrel eye which is 15,000 bells so always go after that size of fish too that's how I see it. That's how I've made fishing much more enjoyable for myself. I know a lot of people find fishing a little bit boring, but by having a crafting, a fish bait crafting station, it makes it a lot more fun to hunt for the manila clams and a lot more convenient for you to, to um, have all of the supplies on hand. And, and, it's, and then you'll be catching way more fish in general, like better fish. And it's a lot better. I so I definitely recommend doing this. Okay, so that's that's it for the um, fish fish bait station. So I'm just going to give you a quick tour of my island. So uh, this is my beach on the right side of my island. So if you go over here, my um, island is um, like I didn't really pay that. Oops, sorry. I didn't really pay that much attention to where I placed my houses. Like I have them generally over on the, all over here. And, but I have a couple of oddballs like here and there. So they're all the houses are not together. Three of three or four of them are sort of close together, but yeah. Um, it's all over the place. I do have a little urban area which I think I've covered in a different video. I've done a little more work on it. Uh, over here. This is a four star island, by the way. I have a four star island. So right over here is my urban area. This leads right up to where Red comes to the art dealer. Or uh, I don't know what to call him. <laughs> I don't know if he's an art dealer, but uh, he sells art. Um, and I put this, all this here. I have the fortune cookie um, cart right there. And I have the popcorn. You know what was really weird? I have a ramp. I'm being, I'm building a ramp here. But I used to have um, a cotton candy stall parked right here. And then as soon as I built the ramp, the ramp ate up the cotton candy stall. And now I have no cotton candy stall. So I have to buy another one. I don't know why that happened. I think it's a big glitch. So don't ever leave anything lying around when you are building a ramp because the ramp could eat it up. So that was very strange. Let's see, did anyone... Donations, 98,000, hurry up. Oh, well, somebody donated a little bit, okay. But that's sad. I'm currently paying off. I want to pay off my house loan first, and then I'll pay off the rent. So, um, this is where red appears. I, I made it so my island has... You can go all the way around. So this is the right side. That's Nate's house. And then over here is the lighthouse and my little rocket. What's kind of cool about this rocket is that you can change clothes. I don't know why it's like that, but... Yeah, you can you can change clothes. Would I I really don't know what the rocket is supposed to do other than look cool. So and if you go down this way, this is the rest of my beach on the right side, which you've already seen. It's the side where the fish bait station is. So we'll go back right around here uh, to the other side. There's Red's um, entranceway, and over here I've got my hidden uh, amusement park place or whatever I'm gonna put I'm gonna build that up a little more so then you can tell that it's an amusement park area and then along here on the second level you can see I'd, I'd set up like a pond fishing area and this is the stargazing lookout I do not like those wooden block stools right now I just have them there for to place it until I find better furniture for there but that's my stargazing area and, and this leads to my Zen Garden area. And my Zen Garden has snack, snack bar, all kind of things, and the park bench, and all the cool bamboo-y stuff that's usually, that you see in many other people's Zen Gardens. I've got the wishing well here, another little sitting area here, and the archway, and this beautiful garden rock. I've got that garden rock, and I've got the taller garden rocks. 
These things take up so many stones, oh my god. I wish I had more of them, but because they use so many stones, I haven't really placed a lot of them around. Like, this one's insane. I think this one takes like 40 stones or something. And that uh, the stone lion takes like 60 stones. So, constantly, constantly farming stones. Anyways, um, and then over here is the bath, or is this, I might take this away and put, put it back in here, and I'm gonna reduce the size of my Zen Garden, because right now it's huge. Um, because, you know, as we acquire more things, uh, we can do more things. Alright, so... For this, I can go, I can hop across here. I made it so that I have hidden areas where I can jump across, but you can't really tell you can jump across. I just kind of wanted it that way. I didn't want to make it obvious. And uh, this will be over there sometime soon. I'm going to move all this exercise equipment to an area, an outdoor exercise area. I'm still collecting all of the pieces for the uh, wrestling um, ring thing. And I found this, uh, got this exercise ball. And there's a lookout area here. I'm not quite sure what to do with that stove yet. There's a furnace. Clay furnace, I don't really know yet. Did you know you can customize your clotheslines with different clothing? So this is the red one, there's other ones. Um, here's my blue hyacinths. Now, when it comes to flower breeding, I don't really... Um, try so hard at it like I just kind of randomly place flowers here and there and, and if they if they grow hybrids and cool if not I'm not devastated or anything <laughs> I have them all over the place and, and then if I see that you know a hybrid has grown I will put them aside and put them in someone's yard or something and then grow some more of them so I'm not I'm not very strict about growing hybrids and then I think eventually I'll probably have them all. I'm going to be removing a lot more trees and I'm setting them up in more of a orderly fashion. Except for the very entrance, which I want to leave pretty wild looking. So I want it to look more like a natural setting. So yeah, that's uh, those are my houses over there. And then over here is an area where you can play some instruments and sing. So I've got the tambourine there, you can play guitar. So they all work. How cool is that, right? So I, I have to find some sort of DJ table. I'm going to try to find another DJ table. So then the music will sync up with whatever's playing on the, uh, the DJ table. So I like having music everywhere. Oh, and there's Ed. He's hanging out on the playground thing. I've got the slide coming in, and um, I, I'll have other playgrounds. I might move the playground as well, maybe over near the Zen Garden as well. And at this time, this is where the campsite is. Um, I might. I think I'm just going to leave it here. I, I like the beachside tent. I think it's very cool. Although a lot of people have done very complicated, cool things with their campsite. I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. So, and this is the museum. This is how I have it set up. Um, I put the, well, I'm looking for another fossil that's a standalone fossil like this. Because I like how the base looks. It's all standalone by itself. Um, whereas these ones have, it looks incomplete. So I don't really quite like that, but... As soon as I find another one that's like that, um, that'll be over there. Other than that, that's my museum. And then if you come over here, this is the entrance from the Dodo Airlines. So my native fruit is pears and my native color is green. And I know that those are the two worst things. Like those are the two most detested things about Animal Crossing. And I got the two worst ones. The worst color and the worst fruit. Uh, but, you know, honestly, I never played Animal Crossing before, so I didn't know that that was the worst one. I didn't know pears were so bad. I, I actually like the pears. I think they're I think they're great. I, I like my my favorite fr fruit from is Korean pears, so I was just, I was totally cool with it. And so um, I never changed it or reset it or anything like that. 
So I left it very wild here. I put mixed, um, I mixed the uh, cedar trees with the regular trees and I put the hedges here. Or not hedges, these are, I believe, tea. Or these are non-flowering hedges. I, I forgot what hedge that was. Anyway, when leaf came, I went crazy and I bought a whole bunch. I still gotta buy more. I mean, I don't think there's, I still don't think there's enough. So I've got trees all over the place. Uh, there's my able sister shop. This is the only tree stump I have, and I made it that way on purpose because I want to be able to easily catch stump bugs. Uh, oh, what does Yuko want? I don't suppose you'd like to buy my lovely noble zap suit. Oh, this is another tip. Never take the first, never, never say yes to this, to the first offer. Say no. <laughs> oh, usually the offer can lower. Okay. Well, he, she, she didn't that time, but usually she does. I usually never take the first one. And then I go over here. Uh, let's see. Did I talk to all my neighbors? Yes, I did. Okay. And I always try to to do all of the, um, you know, nook mile challenges so that I get lots of nook miles. I'm at 22,460, getting there. So I think that's it. This is Pashmina's house. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Um, the only thing I have left from the egg day is, uh, or bunny day, sorry, is are these lamps, the egg lamps. Cause I thought they were kind of cool looking. At night, it looks really nice here. So I kept those. Those are the only things I kept. Everything else I sold off and and got rid of everything. I got rid of everything. I only have the wobbly toy and I didn't even bother doing the whole... I don't even think I have the wand. I don't remember. I don't think I did. So, but I don't care. Like I really seriously hated that event so much that I don't want any... I don't really want any evidence of it left except for these lamps. That's the only thing I, I kept from that event. So yeah, that is that's my that's my little island tour of my four star island, and it's continuously changing. So I will get back to you again. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, subscribe for more and hit the bell button. Thanks. Bye bye.